Thomas here, and last night I was up in Nevada City, California, listening to Daniel Vitalis talk about um, different elixirs and shamanic nutrition, and it was absolutely wonderful. And uh, my brother, Kevin, got to bring him his Vortexer, so um, Daniel shot a little video, and I caught that for you guys. Um, so I'm going to share that with you now, and um, I hope you enjoy it. It's really beautiful to watch the way that water can structure through that vortexer. And um, towards the end of the video, Daniel starts to get into the benefits of structured water and why you would want to do that. Um, and so I'd just like to add a little bit more to that for you. Um, the way I see structured water working is like in nature, water goes through a meandering course and has the ability to move and that moving allows it to structure in a certain way and um, basically you can have the same elements be structured in one way and in another way be totally different. For example, um, diamond is carbon and the same elements, carbon, make up lead when they're arranged in a little different way. And so when you structure water, it's arranged in a way to where it creates a tight lattice. And I've heard other people say that that tight lattice of structured water like pulls into um, chlorine. And another thing about the structure of water is when it is structured and it has a very tight lattice, it seems to be wetter and hydrate the body um, more effectively. And I definitely noticed when I switched to drinking spring water, which is naturally structured and has those amazing levitational properties, um, that my body like wanted just to release all the old water out of me and I was like this is so weird I'm I think I feel like I'm just so thirsty and I want to drink it all the time and it, I thought that you know the spring water was supposed to be more hydrating because of the structure and it being a tighter H2O molecules and so you're able to get in actually more H2O into your system um, and I uh, I've come to find out that it was just releasing all the old water that my body had been storing and like, yes, thank you for the structured water. Now I'm able to um, work a little bit more effectively because I've got some good water. So um, I hope you enjoy the video. Hi, this is Danny Vitalis and I'm at The Fix in Grass Valley, California. And we've just done an all-day Fixer Craft workshop. And you may remember some of my older videos where I was vortexing six-gallon bottles of water. When I did those videos, all I had to work with at the time were those BPA-free, better bottles, plastic bottles. Since switching over to completely to glass, I haven't been able to vortex my water anymore in the way I used to. There's obviously really great machines out there like the... Vitalizer. The Vitalizer Plus. That's a good machine. But what I really liked about doing it myself is I could do five gallons at a time and I could do it with my own kinetic energy. I've been able to do that now. I've on glass bottles. Anyway, meet Kevin. Hello. They approached me a couple of months ago. I was in Austin, Texas, and told me about this guy, Kevin, who produced, um, uh, basically built something where he could vortex glass bottles, five gallon glass bottles. And they showed it to me down there. And he said that he would build one for me. I just got it yesterday. And we're going to demo for you his model so you can see how it works. He's got one with a three gallon glass bottle set up and one with a five. And this is the five gallon bottles here. And what we're going to do is show you how to set these up into a vortex. And we're going to leave you some contact info if you'd like to meet Kevin or find out how you can get something like this yourself. So, I'll turn it over to you. Hello, everybody. So, this is the Vortexer. Um, I made it out of pine. And uh, it's really simple. It's just a nice cradle that protects your glass bottles and allows you to seal two glass bottles together and get a nice Vortex going. So, it's got some all thread on here. And that will attach the top here. And these are just standard wing nuts. So yeah, I came up with like an easier way to load it because traditionally I was taking like big old thing, you know, yeah. like laying it down here. And imagine if you're a shorter person, you're like, no way are you gonna get like 55 pounds up this high. But you know, she's common sense. Lower it down like this. Have this towel down here so that the all thread doesn't dig in. And I just keep the cork in. Will I load it? Yeah, the cork helps because my plastic ones I think would leak. Yeah, so you know you can make sure it's nice and sealed. So you're putting the full one in first? Yeah, the full one goes in on the bottom. Right off. 
this is where the seal comes in. And I played around with it. This is just an old bike tube that I cut up. It's really easy. Seal's great. I also have a cork one that I use. And the cork is really nice because it's all natural and it holds it a little bit better. This rubber can get a little slippery. Now, in the past, to do this, when I did it with the plastic bottles, I was using a two inch coupler. Yeah, like this. And one of the cool things about this design is that he doesn't need to use the coupler. You could still use it. In other words, you can still slide that over to connect the two bottles. But the tension that he's created by screwing down that top piece holds the two bottles together so that you don't need that, which is cool. This becomes a little bit redundant, right? Yeah, just a little bit of protection on the glass so it's not glass on glass grinding or chipping. Like, I just want to line it up as good as possible. Cool like a giant hourglass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I'd like to time it, see how long it takes five gallons. <laughs> and I just line it up, there's kind of a whole pattern, like I marked a green dot on here, so I know that that's where this one goes. Yeah, just thread this up and on. So these feet stick up just higher than these. These also green that situation too. Yeah. And if you did have like a plastic bottle, I uh, put two five gallon plastics in, and they're almost the same size as the glass, they're still a little shorter. And so, with like. Um, and that's the one with the handle. Um, I don't know, it's like your typical like Alhambra plastic bottle. But yeah, you can put in just a thicker spacer, and then it'll allow you to tighten it down. So, you can do it with plastic too if you don't have glass. Okay. So, sometimes it drifts a little bit here, but it's really nominal. When I was using the cork one, like, literally, I had just like a couple of dress to come out. So yeah, you can play around with that coupler, that would completely minimize Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to like throw another coupler, if you were like really concerned about some like super pricey hardwood floor or something. Mm -hmm. And then a really easy way to do it is to just to tip it over like this. Now I get this out of the way. You know. Get up. There it goes. Boom. Wow. And it's so fun to watch this. Every time I do it, it forms a different kind of vortex. Yeah. So the value of doing a vortex like this is that you've got all these water molecules in here, and they're kind of all moving around with brownie in motion. When you start spinning them like this, what happens is each one begins to spin on its own axis, and then they all begin to spin together around a common axis. This is like a pattern we see throughout nature, similar to what we see solar systems, not solar system, but solar systems plural, doing around a galactic center, all of them moving together in unison, creating the larger pattern. When we do this, we get all the water molecules moving together, patterning themselves and structuring themselves. The experience, and this is experiential, when you do this with your water, you'll find it stays fresher, longer, and that drinking water that's been through that process that water has more vibrancy, more liveliness when you drink it. When you actually put it in your mouth, you'll notice that it tastes fresher. So this is like an experiential thing. It's not just um, it's not just a mind experiment, but it's actually something you can experience to be true. If you gather water yourself from springs and occasionally put it through a vortex like this, especially if you do it a few times, you'll notice that you're going to maintain more freshness in your water and it'll be more fun to drink. Um, what happens is, when you keep water for a long time at home and it starts to oxidize or lose its freshness, you feel like you've got to visit the spring again to get fresh water. It's a way of keeping it fresher, longer, and keeping that water really vital and structure. So if you're interested in getting a vortexer like this, you're going to need to contact Kevin Thomas at thomasalpine at gmail.com. Excellent. So this is really great. I'm bringing one home and mine's made out of cherry, very beautiful red wood. And um, I'll be setting that up at my house so that I can keep my water really structured in glass bottles, which is really exciting. Thanks a lot, Tom. Thank you. Take care, everyone. What do you think? Isn't it cool when you see that water cyclone down and create that amazing vortex? Um, I'd love to hear your comments. Please post them down below. And have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by.